Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you this full face of first impressions and I basically ended up going for this a kind of purpley look and there's no eyeliner so if you're wondering why I look different it's because I'm wearing no eyeliner because someone asked me on Twitter if I could do a makeup look that doesn't involve eyeliner because um, they said that a lot of people don't uh, enjoy using it or like you guys maybe don't feel so confident wearing eyeliner or like doing your eyeliner is what I mean so yeah I thought I would do a makeup look without eyeliner this time and also just to like switch things up a bit so I'm testing a bunch of new products in this video pretty much everything I used on my face apart from my concealer was something new today so if you want to find out what I thought of like everything on my face then just keep watching so I've got a lot of things to test in this video um, and my lips are feeling a bit dry so I'm just going to moisturise them and the lip balm that I've absolutely been loving recently I thought I really wasn't going to like these I mentioned these in a recent haul video these are the Really Me Glossy Liquid Lip Balms by Miss Sporty what I've been using this for is I've been putting this on every night before I go to sleep and when I wake up in the morning my lips are so moisturised so I've got tons of model zone products to test in this video. Um, they reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and asked if I'd like to receive some stuff. And I asked for one of the highlighters and they sent me so much stuff. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the Flawless Color Correcting Concealer Palette. Just looks like this. And as you can see, um, I've got a few like blemishes. So I am just going to put some of these on my face. Actually, I'm gonna use the brushes. So in this video, loads of you guys have asked me to test out these silicone brushes from Makeup Revolution. So I've got the face ones, which I think are meant for contouring rather than foundation, but I'm gonna try it for foundation. Um, and they've also got some eye brushes as well, which I guess could work for concealer, but I think I'm gonna use one of these to do my concealer. I'm just gonna use like the big one um, and see if it will like pick up product. Okay, that's a bit weird, it's kind of like, wait, let's just put a bit on, and then like, it literally feels like a Scylla sponge on a stick, but not quite as squidgy. Okay, so that will do. Um, It feels kind of like a little bit oily. I don't know, it's not my favourite colour corrector, I feel like because I have pretty oily skin I prefer like my concealers to be a little bit like drier you know you know what it's actually blending out quite nicely with this little like brush thing oh I've got to pick Sam up in like 45 minutes then for my foundation I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer this is in 00 light natural it's their new color and I recently got this on Beauty Bay but as you can probably tell it is actually a little bit too dark for me so I do apologize and I have worn this before, I wore it in a video, but I haven't like actually um, shown it kind of how it works in a video, if that makes sense. I'm gonna try and blend it with this thing, but I just know that when it gets to my nose, it's just not gonna happen. Ooh, okay. Definitely too dark for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these foundation, uh, these brushes, sorry, are advertised as contour brushes, not like foundation brushes, so. I feel like this isn't going to go so well. I feel like I put way too much on my face because it's just like, oh. Okay, I, I need to I need to use a beauty blender, otherwise this is just not going to be savable because I'm going outside right after this. So, yeah, I feel like those brushes. Maybe if you don't want to um, get your fingers dirty, you could use the brushes to kind of. Uh, apply the foundation to your face and then blend it out with a beauty blender like I did because I know that some people hate getting foundation on their hands so you could use it for that but I think to actually blend your foundation it's a no-no for, for oily skin I would say it's got like a medium lasting power I think this is from Blank Canvas Cosmetics and I absolutely love it like I've been using this more than my actual beauty blender just because I love how it's like pointy on both ends and I just feel like it does a amazing job at blending. Just realised I don't have concealer. I'm gonna have to move from my seat to get a concealer. Do 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 do. I am not joking, it's literally like an obstacle course in my bedroom when I try and film. Okay, so for concealer I don't actually have a new one. Um, 
So I'm just going to use my collection Lasting Perfection. I mean, it is working, but um, again, it's quite difficult to get into the corners. Like, it's quite difficult to get in your inner corners with these brushes. Oh my god, I can't get that Ed Sheeran song out of my head. You guys know that I'm not good at cream contouring, and I don't get along with it, but I'm gonna try using the Miss Sporty Really Me Second Skin Effect Foundation in the shade Really Honey, which is like a little bit darker. I really liked the one that actually matches me for this. So let's just draw a bit of that on. Ooh, okay. I would really recommend this Miss Sporty Stick Foundation if you've got dry skin, because um, I really love the finish of it, but on oily skin, it didn't last particularly well on me. Hey, that blended really nice with this brush. I actually think these brushes work pretty well if you're into your like, cream contouring and stuff. I don't know, they blend out pretty nicely. I mean, they're probably not something that I would personally use on a day-to-day -day basis, but like I said, if you're the type of person that like, I don't know, likes trying these new innovative things and you don't like getting your hands dirty, then I don't know, that actually worked pretty well for cream contour. And then boys and girls, I'm gonna do a bit of cream highlighting using the NYX Bright Idea Highlighter Stick in Lavender Lust. Cream highlighting literally never works for me. But, okay NYX. That went well. So I'm now gonna be trying a new powder. Okay, I li I'm lying. I have tried this before, but only once. Um, Emma from Emma's Rectangle, you guys know her. She's amazing. If you're not already subscribed, go over and subscribe. But anyway, she got me a late birthday present of the NARS Loose Powder in Snow. If you guys know me, you know that I love Nikki tutorials. And Nikki tutorials always raves about this powder. And Emma got it for me, which I literally can't believe. Like, Emma, that was so naughty because this is so expensive. And I'm so, like, when I opened it, I was like, no. And I'm gonna try and bake, which I never normally do, but that's what Nikki does, so. You know, I used this the other day, um, and I absolutely loved it. Oh, okay, that was a bit much. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm actually gonna put this all over my face because I have extremely oily skin. So, for bronzer, I'm gonna use this Model Zone Sculpt and Glow palette. Um, and there is a highlighter in here, but I'm not gonna be using that because I have like a separate highlighter. You can still kind of see the highlighter like from the NYX thing. Um, but yeah, it's got a really pretty highlighter in here, which I think is like slightly too dark for my skin because I did try it on once before, but it is really pretty. Okay, that's very, very warm. This is so pigmented. You literally need the tiniest bit. It blended pretty nicely, but it's just um, a little bit too like warm and dark for my skin, I think. I feel like this would be good for um, people that wait, wear fake tan or just have more tanned skin that want to kind of like warm up their face. The baked blush, I absolutely love. It's so cute and tiny. This also has a mirror, which I think is amazing because it's such a small little thing. Um, I just love how all the packaging is magnetic, like I love that. And that is very pigmented. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pigmented. And then we have the highlighter, which is the thing that I originally was most excited to test. Um, so this one is in Peach Pearl, and again, it's got the magnetic packaging, it's got a mirror, and then it's got this really cool, like, swirly design. I'm in love. Oh my, that is so pretty. This video is going really well so far. I've just realized nothing has gone terribly wrong. Okay, so next is eyebrows. I'm gonna be using the new NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil. I haven't used eyebrow pencils in months. So if these brows go horribly wrong, I am horribly sorry. Oh God, this is so hard. I feel like if you're used to using eyebrow pencils, this would be great, but I'm really not. <laughs> this one looks like a slug. So to clean up my brows, I'm gonna take one of these really small brushes. This is from the Model Zone brush set, uh, which I'm gonna be using on my eyes. I'm just gonna take like this one, I think, um, and just put some concealer on. So I'm gonna move on to my eyes. And like I said, I'm using the uh, brushes from the Model Zone brush set. So I'm just gonna go in with the Vintage Rose palette. Again, it's got the really pretty magnetic packaging. It does come with a little brush in it, but I've just thrown it on the floor somewhere, literally, what is wrong with me? So, I'm gonna go in with this colour here, in my crease. 
Oh, that's really nice. Kind of like a pinky purpley nude colour. It could do with being like a little bit fluffier, but I can use my other brushes for that. It's quite good for like really getting in there into your crease. Okay, so I'm then going in with this colour here, which is another kind of matte colour. This one's more of a brown. Okay, so so far, really, really nice. I'm gonna go in with Bouquet, which is like a sparkly purple colour. Um, I think I'm gonna do a kind of purpley look. And I'm using that same brush just because like, I feel like you could double this up as a flat brush and a blender brush just because it's quite dense. And I'm just gonna put that purple shade on my, oh, that's really bright. I'm gonna put that on my outer corners. I'm also gonna put that on my inner corners. So in the pan, it looks like it's got a bit of shimmer in it, but when you actually put it on, the shimmer just kind of disappears and it's pretty much matte. Wow. Okay, I'm then taking on a on the smaller brush, this darker purple shade here called Violetta, and I'm just gonna pack that on the outer corner and my inner corner. I might have to come back and finish this because I'm going to be really late picking up Sam. Okay, so I'm just going to take the silicone brushes from the Makeup Revolution set. Somebody asked me on Twitter if I could do a look without eyeliner because... And she said that a lot of people struggle with it. So I thought, yeah, sure, I will do that. But this little brush is just like a little tiny little silicone eyeliner brush. I'll try and use it in like another video or I'll let you know on Twitter how it is or something or Snapchat. Um, and I'm going to take some of the colour called Charming, which is the gold one. And, oh, okay. I'm just gonna pack that on. Oh wow, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, I feel like these brushes are so good for packing on, like pigment onto it, like shimmery colors on the center of, of your eyelid because these kind of silicone brushes pick up more products so they act more as if they your finger if that makes I don't think I'm making any sense okay so I'm just gonna do the same on my lower so I'm gonna use the color chrome eyeshadow kit um, and this is like one of those it's like the Stila ones where you get a little thing of cream eyeshadow and you're supposed to mix it on a tray. But speaking from experience, I just use these kind of straight out of the pot and they work fine. It's like a foiled eyeshadow. This one is in golden lights and... Oh, mama. Yes. Oh my, oh Jesus. I feel like if you have any of these like cream eyeshadows, these silicone brushes are what they can be used for because like it goes on so nice. And normally I put on cream eyeshadows with my fingers, but like obviously you can't be very precise with that, but oh my god, look at this. I'm dead. So I'm using the L'Oreal Me Mega I can't, I can't speak because I'm like so like amazed by these eyeshadows. So I'm then going in with the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Hippie Mascara, and I got this yesterday because Emma recommended it. I was looking out for L'Oreal's new mascara, um, but they didn't have it in Superdrug, so I was like, okay then. Okay, that mascara is pretty nice. I feel like L'Oreal make really good mascaras. So I'm just gonna put some of this on my lower lashes. I actually quite like that mascara. I mean, it's not my favorite ever, but it is really nice. And on that, I'm gonna have to rush out. I'm gonna be really late. I'm really sorry, Sam. So I've been gone for about an hour. What has happened? Why is the background not blurring? My camera is really not cooperating and it's really annoying me. Um, and the background is blurry. For some sometimes the background doesn't go blurry like this, like if you compare it to how it was in a second ago, and I have no idea why. So what I'm now gonna do is put on some eyelashes. These are the Model Zone textured eyelashes um, in number 30, I believe. When you take them off the packaging, they literally just go straight. I just feel like they've never actually put eyelashes on without eyeliner before. Okay, so I'm not a massive fan of the eyelashes, but I did really like everything else. Finally for lips, I have a bunch of their um, lipstick colours. So they have this um, metallic packaging, 
and they are like magnetic but just something that I do want to say is the magnet isn't very strong at all so I feel like if you touch it like the tiniest bit the lid could fall off so if you are going to be putting this in your handbag I would put it inside a makeup bag so I'm gonna try it oh so nude which is one of the matte colors I really should have exfoliated my lips before this. So I think what I'm gonna do is go in with one of the new NYX lip liners, cause I feel like, I don't know, I feel like if I just do a super plain nude lip, it's gonna look a bit strange. So I'd quite like to do a bit of a darker nude. So I'm gonna go in with the Sandstorm lip pencil, I think. These feel like they're gonna be waterproof. So I would de definitely recommend using a lip balm before these, cause they're quite dry, but yeah. As I thought, they're pretty, like, waterproof, which is good. I kind of feel like I need a dark lipstick on. So I'm actually going to use one of the NYX um, Lip Lusters, I think these are called. Now let's try Dark Magic. So apparently these are like a gloss, but they turn into a stain or something. So this is the overall makeup look. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite product was out of this whole video. I think mine definitely has to be the um, like glitter on my eyelids. And also, I love the highlight as well. That is super pretty. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!